I am going to be adopting my own daughter. Hey weirdos! Hi! Welcome to today's video. We have a pretty special video for you guys today. Um, as you guys can see by the title, I am going to be adopting my own daughter. This video might seem weird or confusing or whatever, but we are going to get into it and explain everything, the process that we are in. This process has been about four months in the making and we are very close to the finish line. So we decided to tell you who, what, when, where, why, and how mm -hmm. and all that. So if you are new here, um, this is my daughter, Avery. Biologically, she is hers mm -hmm. and we use a sperm donor to conceive her yes she was born in a place where mm -hmm. I am on the birth certificate mm -hmm. I am seen as her mother in the eyes of the state where she was born mm -hmm. and the state where we currently live mm -hmm. but that is not going to that's not always the case and that's mm -hmm. currently not the case for every single place so why am I adopting her let's get into that first I'm adopting her um, this first started out as a fear-based thing. This was pre-election, this was pre-everything mm -hmm. going on when we started. Yeah. When we started. Mm -hmm. This started as fear. I was afraid that if Donald Trump was going to be the president again, that those rights of mine or things were going to be taken away or things were going to be overturned mm -hmm. or whatever. It did start out as fear-based and I felt that I needed to do this for my own protection. Yeah. Um, and our own peace of mind, too. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, what it comes down to, what we truly want is Alyssa to be seen legally as Avery's parent as much as I am. Yeah. You know, we want that equality with each other. Yeah. And so, why am I still doing this even after, after the election? We definitely could have stopped, we could have pulled mm -hmm. the plug, we could have said we don't want to do this. Yeah. The reason that we are still doing this is because no matter where we go, no matter what state we are in, no matter what country we are in, no matter the circumstance, no matter the circumstance, no the one, viewpoints of yeah, another party, yeah, no yeah. one can tell me that I am not able to go back there in the hospital. No one can tell me that I can't mm -hmm. take her or pick her up from daycare. No mm -hmm. one can tell me anything. Mm -hmm. I will be her mother mm -hmm. in the eyes of the law, yeah. just as an adoptive parent would be. Mm -hmm of a child that is biologically not theirs yeah. at all, mm -hmm. um, same sex or not. So how we started off was we searched for lawyers in our area, ones that dealt with not only same sex couples, but also dealt with the second parent adopting. Um, it just so happens that our lawyer that we found um, only deals with LGBT couples. Um, she herself is a part of the community and has done this as well in the past. So we just really felt super comfortable hiring her yeah. and going from there and starting this journey with her. Yeah, it just felt right because, you know, mm -hmm. she has done this yeah. for so many families. She's mm -hmm. protected so many families. Yeah. and. We loved that and we loved the security that she brought. Mm -hmm. So that is like the first step. You basically yeah. try to find a lawyer in your area. Mm -hmm. We found one mm -hmm. and then what she goes over with you is she does an initial phone call with you, mm -hmm. which lasts about an hour, an hour and a half, roughly. roughly. Mm -hmm. And you know, she gets to know you, she gets to know you as a couple, she yeah. gets to know you as like people, like mm -hmm. whatever. And then she tells you about the entire process roughly. Mm -hmm. So how much does this cost? So she told us the cost is based off of your income and can range from $1,000 to $4,000. This was just from our lawyer, by yeah. the way. It might be different per state, per mm -hmm. lawyer you talk to. This yes. was just our experience. Yes. But basically she asked us how much we make, how much is our household, how much mm -hmm. is our rent, and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Yeah. And then she gave us her fee, and her mm -hmm. fee was $2,500. Mm -hmm. And that included all of the paperwork, mm -hmm. all of the appointments, all mm -hmm. of the stuff that she has to do on her end that helps us out. Mm -hmm. So that includes everything yeah. that she deals with. Um, and so it cost $2,500, which we were like, you know what, $2,500 for peace of mind yeah. is so worth it. It's so yeah. worth it. And basically after that initial phone call and after paying the fee comes all of the paperwork. There's certificates of adoptions, 
Um, there's a letter that I have to sign that basically gives consent for Alyssa to adopt. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of different paperwork and I, I do think it's different state to state as mm -hmm. well. So you'd have to check with your own personal state. Um, but those are just a couple of the things that we had to sign. It was just a bunch of legal paperwork basically for them to put into our file. Our, my information, her information, yep. Avery's information, Avery's birth certificate, mm -hmm. like all everything you can imagine they needed, marriage certificates, all yeah. of that yeah. stuff. So from there we send her mm -hmm. off the paperwork and also just so you know, you can pay the, the fee in increments we just decided to pay it up front yeah. but that is an option mm -hmm. if you want mm -hmm. and then from there she gave us a list of social workers because mm -hmm. you have to deal with a social worker mm -hmm. before the lawyer can officially basically do her job yeah so she gave us a list we checked and we found one that we seemed that seemed that you know we wanted and we, yeah. we seemed mm -hmm. to like so we contacted her mm -hmm. And then she ended up sending us a bunch of paperwork that we also needed to fill out. Mm -hmm. And basically the steps that she has to do is like, we have to fill out four background checks, mm -hmm. which four because we've lived in two places in the last Within, five yeah. years. There are federal ones, you have to do like mm -hmm. fingerprints, it's yeah. like a whole, it's literally like a whole thing. Yeah. And four background checks, so that process. Each, mind you, each. not just Alyssa, me mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. because I am also in the home, you know, mm -hmm. in that sense. For the social worker, it is very much so like less second parent adoption and more just adoption. So mm -hmm. sort of the same step you would take if you were adopting a child that is not biologically either of yours. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, we had to fill out paperwork after paperwork on income. We had to give her a layout of our apartment. We had to do background checks, answer a whole bunch of questions. Yeah, and then from there, oh. Sam and I both have to fill mm -hmm. out um, uh, I guess an autobiography you could say. Yeah. Sam would be the non-important person in yeah. this adoption. I Mine just had to be like a little overview. Yeah, Sam is like, this is me, this is yeah. where I'm from. I grew up here, I this grew was up my here, life. This yeah. was my life. Mm -hmm. Mine was very detailed. Yeah. And to give you guys an idea of how detailed it was, it's asking you not only the same questions it was asking mm -hmm. her, but it was asking things like, who did you live with? What mm -hmm. is their name? What is their occupation? Yeah. Were you disciplined? How were you disciplined? Mm -hmm. Who disciplined you? Yeah. What did that look like in depth? Like they're mm -hmm. very in depth yeah. questions, very personal questions yeah. that you have to answer. And mm -hmm. I think it's just so you guys do know, those answers are not going to interfere with the adoption. So if you are raised in a very bad way, those answers are not going to interfere with no. you being able to legally adopt. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then the last thing that we had to do with a social worker before we did the home study mm -hmm. was she needed three references. Yes. And these references cannot be family members. Mm -hmm. They have to not be her family members, not yep. my family members. They had to be people in our life that we knew, mm -hmm. that knew us yeah. for an extended period of time, or at least that's what we chose. Yeah. There wasn't like a, oh, you need to have someone who's known you at least five years or whatever. Mm -hmm. We chose people who we're very close with and knew us pre-moms, yeah. post mom like all exactly. of that stuff. Yeah. So then you have what is called a home visit. Mm -hmm. And because we are in a global pandemic mm -hmm. and because of the county that we live in, we were able to do a home visit via yes. Zoom. Mm -hmm. So she's going to tell you what that kind of like yeah. entailed. So basically what that looked like for us was... We had a Zoom call with the social worker. She wanted to see around the apartment. She wanted to, you know, look in the bathrooms, look in Avery's room, look in our room. You know, it wasn't so much, again, about the space in which we live in, but the people who live in the people space. who live in the space. And, yeah. you know, of course, like she just wanted to see what type of environment we're raising Avery in as well. Um, the second part of that was an interview with both Alyssa and I. Avery had to be present for a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. um, basically just for her to be like, oh yeah, there is a child there. Yeah. <laughs> um, she asked us a bunch of questions um, during our interview together. She asked us about our relationship, how we met, when we got married, what we were like as a couple before, what we're like as parents, our raising, you know, our parenting styles and mm -hmm. all of that. Yeah. Um, what our goals were for our family. 
Yeah. Um, and then came the part where it was only Alyssa. Yeah. Um, and her interview. Yeah. So I my interview lasted about an hour, and it was about an hour of both of us. It roughly yeah. could range from you know like two one, to three two hours. Two to three hours. Yeah. So the interview with me was pretty much the autobiography that you write. Mm -hmm. um, that interview was pretty much her just having you tell her mm -hmm. all of everything that was on that list of like autobiography yeah. like mm -hmm. questions. So it was very in depth. I had to tell her every single thing, how I was raised, who raised mm -hmm. me, where I lived, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And how that is affecting her parenting styles now. Yes. Yeah. Basically, you know, with the second parent adoption, it's not like that she's turning you away per se to adopt the child, mm -hmm. but she wants to make sure that of course, a cycle is not going to repeat itself, mm -hmm. you know? Um, yeah, that was like something yeah. that she had asked and, and it was the cycle going to repeat itself mm -hmm. because I was not raised in the best way. Mm -hmm. um, and I told her no, obviously. Then the home study was done, at least mm -hmm. the Zoom call was done. And mm -hmm. then from there we waited for an email and that email was from our social worker mm -hmm. and she basically told us Congratulations, you passed the home study, yeah. background checks came good, mm -hmm. all of our paperwork is good. Yeah. Um, she wrote up a file which then she sent to our lawyer, which mm -hmm. tells them, hey, let's go forth with this. Yeah. Like we approve this second I approve this second parent adoption. Yeah. So now we are only dealing with just now our lawyer. Yep. And what is coming up now is finally the day we have been waiting for, mm -hmm. which is adoption day. Yeah. Um, I am going to be adopting Avery on February 5th mm -hmm. of 2021. Yep. So that is the whole process. Mm -hmm. um, we hope that you guys yeah. enjoyed this. We hope this is very informative. Mm -hmm. We are going to make another video showing you the adoption day. Yes. So stay tuned for February 5th. I'm not yes. sure it's going to be posted on that day, but stay tuned for no, the date. Um, but you will get to see mm -hmm. me adopting Avery and if you live in the Texas area, all of our lawyers and social workers information will be below if you want to do this, if you feel you need yeah. to do this. We love you. Bye! Bye.